In this video we are going to have a look at the clone tool. Now if you've taken a picture you just got this perfect landscape and you looked at the picture on the computer and you say, saw oops there's a packet of chips in the grass or there's a rock somewhere just something that is spoiling the image that you wish you had removed when you took the picture. So this is where the clone tool comes in very handy. Now if we take our navigation tool and we zoom a bit closer into the image you'll notice that the tar is destroyed here and there's rocks all over the place. Now we're going to use this to see what this tool can do. Now the clone tool is right here which looks like a little stamp and you click on that and then you'll see my selection, the circle and I can change the size of the circle. Now this is very handy that you can basically go to say this rock right here and make it the size of this rock. Now normally you would go to the scale here choose a different size, go back and say, oops, that's too small, make it a different size, oh, that's too small, make it a different size, it's going to take forever. So here's a very nice and handy shortcut. Now on your keyboard there are two bracket keys, as you can see on the image displayed on the screen, and when I press the right bracket key, the, the circle goes larger, and when I press the left bracket key, the circle goes smaller. So this saves you a lot of time. So say I want to remove this rock right here. I can make it say that size. And then I need to choose something that looks similar to that where I want to put it. So if I take this right here, this looks good enough that it can go right there. So I go to the open space that I want to use. I want to copy base. I want to clone it. Then I need to control and click to make a sample of that area. So I hold down the control key on the keyboard and then I make one click with the mouse and then I let go of the click oh, sorry let go of the of the control key. So I hold down the control, make one click and then I let go of the control. Now GIMP has got that information stored. Now I can go over to the rock and you can see if I if I'm over the uh, over the little rock, you can see the, the circle there where I made my selection. So when I click now with the mouse there it replaced that. So it took this information and copied it right here. So let's look at a few other rocks here and we go through with the same procedure. I'm going to zoom in closer once again and say we want to remove that rock right there and I can make the selection smaller. I choose say that part right there, hold down the control, click, let go, go to the rock and click again. Uh, say maybe that one right there, go there, make a selection and replace it. So this is very easy to get rid of something. Say we've got a problem. We might have this thing right here and we want the tar here to be clean. We can just make the selection larger and then I can say choose this section right here, hold down a control, click, let go and click on that section. I just look at that part I've just taken out. But now, this is something that's very important. Do not just click, 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 and just quickly take out an entire section. The problem is, you're, you're going to be cloning the same part over and over and over and over. So what happens is your eye can quickly s spot repetition in the picture. So if I just go click, click, click in a row, this information is going to repeat it over and over again. So you're going to see that something was being done there. So what you need to do is, if I chose that section for this right here, I need to say maybe choose this section now, make a sample there, and then clone that in there, so that you can't see that it's been done. It looks much more believable. And I've taken the entire section out. And even if you look at stuff like this, where we've got this big hole right here, it's very easy to do. I just make my brush size the size of that which I want to replace. And I look for, for information that looks similar. For instance, I would like to have this section here. Then I just go to it, hold down the control, click, let go, and I just go click on that section right there. Now, if, when I said it repeats everything, if you look right there, my mouse pointer is, and right there, those two sections are similar. Now, if I just go click, 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 there it's again, there it's again, and there it's again. Now, when you look at this picture, you're going to notice that repetition. So I would say rather go make different selections, like maybe there, put that one there, 
and maybe there and put that one there and start to create texture so that people don't notice. Yeah, I've gone too far into that color there, so you can see the smudge. So I'm just going to use maybe that section right there. Just take out that bottom part again. So you can create the texture that you want to make this look very believable. And that's all there is to the clone stamp tool. And um, I'll see you in the next video, which is on the healing tool.